Good morning from me and the Parthenon. Um, I just had the scariest thing happen. Bro, I don't even know what to do right now. What a way to start off this vlog. I'm sitting over here having my very peaceful coffee breakfast, uh, my uh, rice pudding with fruit, orange juice. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, these fireworks, or it sounded like a machine gun to be honest at first. And I could see the sparks flying, but I just couldn't tell from where. But it was literally like someone set off fireworks right in here, woke everyone up. It's like six o'clock in the morning. I literally jumped out of my skin because I couldn't completely tell if it was fireworks or not. Everyone's up, it woke everyone up. There was a woman from a balcony on the building across from me who was like, do you know what that is? I was like, girl, I have no idea. And she was like, that was really scary. I was like, yeah, it literally sounded like, I know what machine guns sound like. And it wasn't quite like that because it was like the sparks fly, I don't know. But whew, I'm like, my heart is like pounding because it literally happened like right under my building. And I saw the sparks and it, it when I tell you it was loud, I wish I, I was too afraid. I came inside, I'm like talking a million miles an hour. I came inside to my Airbnb and I left my phone out. I wish I filmed it but I was too afraid to like run back out and get my phone in case it was someone just randomly shooting into the air. And then it stopped and I ran out and got my phone. And then that's when the girl asked, do you know what that was? Cause her and her person came outside and I looked down on the street and everyone's walking as normal. So I don't know what that was, but literally it was so loud and my heart is pounding out of my chest. But anyway, good morning guys, <laughs> I'm working on my Mexico vlog. I'm going to finish working on it a little bit. I'm going to finish my breakfast and then we have an exciting day planned. All right, guys, just got dressed and I am headed out now. I am wearing all Aritzia athletic wear. I love the back of this. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how to angle the camera so you can see the back, but I really like the back of this bra. I wore it yesterday too. I can't wait till I can do laundry at my next destination i'm hoping i can anyway gotta put on my shoes running downstairs and i'm gonna go on a walk i think i'm gonna go over to what's it called there's like a hill where you can see the sunrise oh no the clouds covered up the sunrise there's a hill where you can see the sunrise nymphs hill or something like that and then i'm gonna go try to check out the national gardens before i have to come back and get ready My favorite elevator. It's the lighting, you guys. It's the sliding. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of like gross smells here this morning. I don't know why it's so bad. This area yesterday was really clean and today it's like trashed. But last night when I walked through, it was really busy. Like there was an insane amount of people. So I don't know if it's just because it was after a busy night, but they're usually pretty good about keeping the streets clean here. Like in the mornings, I see them sweeping and picking up all the trash, emptying the trash cans. But yeah, maybe they just haven't like gotten to that center square yet because those smells were something else. So I just love the casual like historic ruins everywhere in the city. I have like no time because I have to get ready, but I got green apple, spinach, pineapple, and I added ginger to it. It's called a tornado and I got a large at Join Juice. 
So I am running late for my ride, but he's downstairs, I hope. I haven't even checked, but it's, at, it's like three after nine. I'm supposed to be down there at nine. I'm like chugging this. Bikini, linen shirt, shorts, flip-flops, towel, backpack, everything I need. And your ovens? In the ovens already for how many days? Um, this is my third day, technically. And then tomorrow I leave. I'm used to the Atlantic more. Yeah, I saw that. So cute. So pretty. And they serve like I can get a coffee there and all that. Oh, yes, of course. Nice. It is so nice here. Those little fishies tickle so much. I can't get over how much they tickle. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they're like taking all the self tanner off my feet. So I, my feet are gonna be like completely white. What's cool about this little lake is that no matter what the temperature is outside, it stays the same degrees. Um, I forgot what it says it is in Celsius, 28 Celsius, it's over there on the little sign. I don't know if you can see, but it stays that way year round. My tour guide was like, even if it snows, it stays warm. It's very cool, it was a little bit chilly for me to get into at first, but I got used to it once I stuck my head in. It's like magical here. These showers are so nice. They're like these little private shower rooms. So cute. I'm so tired. I cannot wait to just lay down in bed and pass out. I'm literally exhausted. I thought I was gonna be able to like push through and try to go to the museum as soon as I got back. No, nope, I'm going straight to bed. I just slept for two and a half hours and it is raining outside, which is a good thing because that's gonna force me to sit in here and finish my Mexico vlog. Post it if the Wi-Fi is fast enough, I'm really hoping that it is. And then hopefully it'll stop raining by then and then I can go out and explore. I wanna go, there's like this really nice area of Greece where like all the designer stores are and um, it's called Kolomaki or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is or how to say it, Kolomaki, I think. Um, by the way, no, I wish I spoke decent Greek or like knew more words. I just know basic stuff like Yosho, Ifaristo, stuff like that. But I will say, whenever I do try, people tell me I have great pronunciation here. So I'll toot my horn there, but I'm gonna edit. I need to stop talking. And I meant to show this in my last vlog but when I went to the Acropolis Museum, I found myself journals. How cool is this? They're not very big, but I like it. I kind of wish I got more. I might be able to get, I don't know, we'll see. But how cool, I got this one. Okay, so I got, that's one of them. When I was at the Acropolis Museum, looking at all the statues, I saw the little owl statues. Owls are such a big deal here in Greece. 
And I wish I could like wake up one morning and see one before everyone else is up. I should keep my eye on the trees. But I was like, how cool would it be to get a, like a little Greek owl journal? I thought that when I saw the owl, this one owl statue at the Acropolis Museum. Literally the first thing I saw when I walked over to this area where they have like notebooks and pens is this, this little owl journal. How cute. Yeah, so, and I like, okay, they're not very big, but this is nice because when I travel for work, these will be easier for me to just like keep in my bag. I'll probably fill one out so fast, but I really like them. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to finish editing when I get back this evening because the sun is setting and I cannot miss any more time in Athens. It is my last night in Athens. Thank God for the time difference. So even if I come home really late, I will still be able to post my video on the 31st. I'm wearing the same pants I wore yesterday. These are like the best. They're so comfortable. They're so lightweight and they're perfect for grease. They have them in a bunch of different colors too. Again, leaving the link down below. And this is just another Aritzia knit top. These are just the best because they're really supportive, but they're pretty. So you don't need to wear a bra or anything with it. And they just kind of go with everything. You can dress them up, dress them down. I don't know what I did to that right there. We're gonna ignore that. And then I just clipped my hair back with these little butterfly clips. Very minimal light makeup, eyebrows, mascara, eyeshadow. And then I use that new Merit bronzing stick. I will leave my link for that bronzing stick down below because it is amazing. I, it's the bronzing stick I talked about in my Mexico vlog two vlogs ago. I'm in bed. Oh my goodness. My shirt's wet from washing my face. That was the best meal like ever. Guys, I, I was hungry obviously so I left to get food and I walked around for so long because I couldn't find a place. Like the places that I thought I would go to, it looked like they were just doing drinks. It didn't look like they were doing actual food. So I just... I literally walked and walked and walked and walked. I have blisters on my toes because of how much I walked because I couldn't find a place that looked right. And then I was like, let me go to this one place, Tavern Climateria. And I'm like, there they have no reservations ready. It's one of the most popular places in honestly in Greece to go to. But I was like, let me just walk over there, see if they can seat me. And they did. Table for one. I got zucchini balls. I got just plate of tzatziki so I could eat every put tzatziki on everything I was eating. I got these meatballs. I think they had like mint in them. They were kind of spicy. The meatballs with rice. I forgot the actual name of it. Those zucchini balls. <sighs> so good. I was going to get the spanakopita, but they were out. He was like, I have eggplant pie. I was like, I don't want that. So I got the zucchini one. Anyway, the little balls. Uh, house white wine that they gave you in a little carafe. Oh, amazing. The bread they brought out was incredible. I couldn't stop eating the bread. I had to refrain myself because I was going to tear up that entire little plate of bread before I got the rest of my food. It was fresh baked, fresh off the oven, so doughy. Oh my God. But the dessert, the dessert, the dessert. I don't even know what it was called but it's the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. It was like, you know like the flakiness of, I need to look up the name of it, the flakiness of baklava, but it's like shreds. It's like that stuff shredded with the cinnamon and the honey and the, oh my God. And it's like a little like slice of, of just the shredded stuff. Like it came out of like a casserole dish kind of thing with this fluffy, foamy, cream on top it was like bouncy but creamy with pistachio crumbles i was so full 
I felt like I was gonna explode, but I was like, I'm getting dessert. I got the dessert, I couldn't leave. I just kept having to have another bite, another bite, and it hurt, it was physically painful, but I just had to have another bite. And I was literally thinking to myself, I'm not gonna have this again for a long time. I mean, I don't, it's not like I plan on coming back here, but like, I, I have to enjoy it and eat all of it right now. So I did. And the live music, oh my God, it was amazing. The people next to me, the service was incredible. The music, uh, the whole atmosphere, 10, 10, 10 across the board. You have to go there when you go to Athens. Please, if there's anything I recommend, go to that restaurant. Locals love it. Um, there were a lot of locals there. They were like dancing around the tables when they, a song was being played that they liked. It was really cute. Um, like a lot of the older people. And then I came back and I packed. Packing took me forever. I still haven't even started vlogging and it's like one o'clock in the morning. So, or I haven't start, finished editing my Mexico vlog. This Mexico vlog is taking me forever, you guys. But I'm going to finish it. I'm going to go to bed and I'm thinking of letting myself sleep in in the morning tomorrow. I wasn't going to, but I feel like I should. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I forgot to show you guys. I, at that little health food store, I bought some face masks. Bio Earth, this one is for, it says it like plumps your skin like filler. It has macadamia, oh yeah, face mask filler effect. So it's supposed to be super hydrating and plumping. I got two of those and then I got this one. This They only had, they only had these two left of this one and then they had this and it's supposed to be like even out your skin tone. So that'll be nice. And then I found these, this is like a keto bar, mint chocolate peanut butter. I bought this for myself. And then this is a high fiber brownie. I bought this to try out. I have friends in the UK and in Europe who watch my stuff. I haven't seen this brand. It's based, you know, it's out here in the European UK area. So hopefully, I mean, some of my people who watch me from over here, I don't know. Maybe you guys have access to this. I'll let you know if I like it or not. All right, now I'm gonna finish my edit and go to bed. Y'all wanna know something funny? This entire trip, I thought that I had left my camera in Boston, in my apartment. Turns out it was at the bottom of my duffel bag, my gravel duffel bag, the whole time. So at least I'll have it for my next trip that I'm going on today, or the next part of my trip. It's my last morning in Athens. The cleaners are about to come in like 20 minutes. I'm trying to figure out my, uh, ride to the airport picks me up at 11. It's almost 10 and I asked my Airbnb host if I could like leave my bags here or something. They were kind of weird about it. They were like, yes, but just not after the cleaners leave. So I was like, okay, I don't, she's like, I don't know when the cleaners are going to leave though. I'm like, okay. So like, how do I know when to come back and get it? I don't know. She said, figure it out with the cleaners. I mean, I get picked up at 11, but whatever. I still recommend this place. I absolutely love this apartment. Oh my God, this flat has been, it's kind of a mess, but well, I mean, just the bed, but like the floor, I'm gonna miss this floor, this terrazzo floor, and not to mention my view of the Parthenon. Like, are you kidding me? And my little chairs and table and the cactuses. I'm gonna miss it so much. Look at my neighbor's balcony. Look at all those plants. Guys, it's so perfect here. This is what I'm wearing to the airport. I'm flying confirmed. Ooh, my zipper's undone. I'm dressed super casual. This isn't something I would ever wear non-revving. I have like ripped up jeans and a crop top. I'm flying confirmed on Asian Airlines. I'm just gonna dress comfortable and wear whatever I want. I have like a hoodie. I'm gonna wear my Birkenstocks, Boston clogs. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I don't want to, but I'm gonna be able to start off my new vlog. <sighs> This has been, I don't wanna leave, I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna leave Athens. I absolutely love this city. Like I am in love with this city. Everything about Greece is just, <sighs> I love it here. I need to like, I say this about everywhere I go, but maybe I should just come here more often. I was gonna say I should, I wanna like find a way to commute from here or live here or just have property here or something one day. 
but yeah i'm i'm this has been the best best trip like incredible it, it will go down as one of my all-time favorite trips i've ever taken and it was a solo trip guys last time i took a solo trip i was unimpressed and i didn't really enjoy it not the country that i went to i just didn't have a good time but this was a great solo trip there was a moment like last night where I kind of like or the night before last when everyone was out at the bars and stuff and I was like I do kind of wish I was here with a friend but that's when it's good to like know someone in the city I don't know or meet someone I did make a friend at the lake yesterday um Elena she's really cool and she's from London she's Greek but she lives in London she's a yoga instructor and I'm gonna try to see her by the end of the year so maybe a London trip will be coming up soon for me anyway guys my name is Vera for those of you who are new here follow me on Instagram follow me on TikTok. I've got some good stuff posted this I've been posting so much from this trip and subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more especially where i'm going next and please hit like if you enjoyed the video as well as leave a comment please say hello all right guys that's it love y'all bye